Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We're going up against Ux XUS. We won the die roll, though. That's good. Lots of one drops, so I think we're okay to keep this. Hopefully, we don't get punished, but we can play plated into plated into Sidewinder. And then once we get our forest, we can start cranking out Viverlin and Muscle. Uh, so I'm okay with this one lander. Typically, I'm not. As you know, if you watch a lot of my videos, typically get screwed over keeping one landers in the beginning it was just my arrogance in the game that would get me screwed over but lately i've just been keeping decent one landers and it's been pretty bad so and as you can see we draw vines not what i want to see i want to see a land on that turn so hopefully we don't get screwed over you know we need two lands to operate here that's all i ask for and uh we are up against uh some Demir control probably holding up that counter spell. Uh, I won't play anything, you know. If they pass the turn, I'm not gonna play anything. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. You gonna do something? All right, swing for two. Can't believe how much we're getting screwed over here. It's ridiculous. Might see uh, anything here. You gonna play anything in at the turn? Draw card. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Give me a land. Oh, let's bait it. I don't care if they counter this Enduring Sliver. Make them do something, you know? So much mana, ain't it nice? Auger, all right. It's a blocker. It's a decent blocker for him. Ah, agony warp. Fun. Okay. All right, let's see if they want to counter a Sidewinder. Got another one. Got another one coming. This guy don't even know. He thinks we're just playing mono white slivers right now. <laughs> See, he has to counter that, so it's fine. We're just removing counters out of their hand, so maybe when we finally draw a forest, we can we can play our lords without getting countered. Are we like four turns deep now? We don't have our forest. Took us three turns to pull a planes. Holding up everything, huh? All right, well, something may happen here, but we've got to keep swinging in. <clears throat> we're not playing anything serious. I mean, we're slowly whittling them down.
Might see a Gurmog coming up. That could be potentially happening. Mole Drifter. Alright. <clears throat> Reordain. Alright. Well, they've got the Agony Warp still, so they're set up for that. If we, uh, try to play something. Even if we, if we grab a Forest so we'll be out of range of Agony Warp, which will be nice. They'll have to play it on one of our plated and just hope they can take care of something else. Just give me the Forest. Finally! Oh my gosh. It's about time. And they let it resolve. Interesting. Should have definitely take it out one of my plated. So they could at least get these guys down further so they could have Agony, uh, Agony Warp up. Well, goodbye, Augur. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna agony warp this guy? Okay. Fair enough. That's fine. Fine with that. We've got a decent board state now. Took us long enough to get our forest, that's for sure. My goodness. Punished every time, I swear. Get that out of there. We know about it now. Okay, I'm gonna draw some cards. Lots and lots of cards. Where are your bomb cards? Where's your augers? Where's your delvers? Tap out. Tap out for a creature. Let me play a muscle. Come on. He's probably got like a Delver in his hand, but he's got tap blue, which means he loses out on counterspell. Decisions. Sacrifice a creature, huh? Get rid of our flanking. They may crack a Gurmog now. Come on, show me a Gurmog. Gotta have something. 
If I get another land next turn, that'd be excellent. Have a good, good forest turn. Give me a forest. Gurmog, here it is. Come on. There it is. All right. Cool, but they're tapped out. You got vines for days, which is ridiculous. Hmm. We're in a weird spot. Guess we just gotta pass. It's not really worth the six damage to lose a lord over yet. Flashback Chainer's Edict. Looks like they might. No? Mull Drifter? Another Gurmog. All right. Putting out of Everland. That's big. Uh, they can double block something. And so be it if they do. We're getting in. You know, we're forcing them to double block. And, you know, that's what it is. They double block, but we get in for nine damage. That's what we do. We go wide, you know? What are you doing now? Oh, you're just going to take that guy out? Uh, I don't think that worked how you worked how you wanted it to. Yeah, there's... Yeah, I think he was trying to target all the slivers. I think he, he thought that would target all the slivers, but it didn't. Uh, it only targets the name, not the creature type. So, that was a mistake on his part. But now we got him down to four life. And they're in a position where... Uh, we can get around them. So they've really got to work this out. Sack a creature. We'll sack our Viverland. I'm sure they're happy about that, but I'm more or less just worried about being able to swing around for four. Which, as long as we can do that, we'll be fine. I'd rather have the defense. You have another Gurmog? It's ridiculous if you do. Oh, another ch I sacked. Okay, I didn't know you had enough mana for that. Okay, sorry, my bad, my bad. Well, that'll happen. We could potentially win if we draw draw a force though. Just give me a force, and we win. Force, come on. Oh, well, that's actually fine too. 
There we go. Boom, bada bing. All right. Game two. Long first game. Holy crap. We came back from that one mana hand. It was a little rough, though. It was a little rough. Another journey for the Gurmogs. Oh, what else do we want? Relic. I want to bring in Sunlance for, like, Augur, but I guess we won't. Augur's not the worst of our fears here. Take out Spinneret. Take out Sidewinder. Take out Enduring. Actually, Enduring might be good here, so why don't we take out a Sentinel? Yeah. 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 Let's get it done. Let's get it, get it. Get it with it. Give me a good hand full of lords. Mm, we'll keep it. It's not ideal, though. I mean, it is and isn't. I don't know. To me, like, if you're playing up against a mirror control, you want to just drop lords underneath their counter spells as fast as you can. Uh, because they can just counter stuff like Winding Way. You can't refill your hand if they counter it. Uh, so what, we, we put out Viverlance and then maybe a Sidewinder and then we're kind of just stuck. They're not going to let us refill our hand necessarily. We shall see though. We'll see how it goes. At least our mana's right. We're not keeping one landers. Well, we can try to go for the double poisonous route, if we can. If we are able, that'd be dope. We'll definitely go for some, for some removal right away, though, on him. Alright, so we can play Benevolent Bodyguard and our other Viverlint. That'd be very nice. I would be happy with that. Ooh, that's tempting. I think we're going to go with the same plan, though. Alright, if we can be fast with this, these Viverlints, I think we'll be alright. They're kind of getting forced to play out like a Augur of Bolus to set up a blocker or something, which if they do, then we'll be able to drop a Muscle Silver or something, and they won't be able to chump block anything. Ash Barons, alright. Swamp has entered. They may just go for straight removal. But we got the Benevolent Bodyguard. I like where we're at. Gotta be wary of these double Viverlins. Oh, well. We're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, maybe they just want us to get rid of the Bodyguard. Who knows? Alright, they're in some trouble. Absolutely in some trouble. For such a long first game, this game's going to be going fast. Okay, that's not bad. Let's empty our hand. Swing in. For four poisonous. Put them to six poisonous. They have a lot to deal with.
Yeah, this is a tough one for him. It would be nice if uh, this was a plated to get around Echoing Decay if they have it. Augur. Yep, there's that Augur play. You need, like... You gotta have a piece of removal, though. You gotta have a piece of removal. Soul Manipulation. That's not gonna really help you here. You realize you're dead, right? What's your black mana for? Do you got a one mana spell? You got a Defile? Okay, I didn't think so. Alright. We got very lucky game one. We played it out. We continued on. We pushed through. We got our mana right by like turn eight or something crazy. Uh, Reestablish our board. Played it right. Played it slow. Played it smooth. And then just crushed them game two. Powerhouse. Double Viverland. Love it. Love to see it. They hate to see it. You love to see it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below if you're liking the Slivers videos still and want me to continue doing them. And make sure to subscribe. I know a lot of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed, so please subscribe. It uh, shows that everybody's still interested and wants to continue the series and everything. So uh, leave a like. We will see you guys in the next video.